gardeners is how to control or manage pests. We all know as gardeners it's so frustrating that when you wake up in the morning you find out that your favorite plant is all destroyed by those pesky little creatures. If you're the type of gardener who would prefer to use only organic means for controlling uh, insects or pests, I would recommend neem oil. Unlike most uh, synthetic uh, insecticides, neem oil does not kill the insect on contact. What it does is when the pest consumes the plant, whether the leaves or the stem or the roots, the neem oil which uh, works to destroy the ins internal organs of that insect or pest that consumed the leaf or the plant that has been infused with neem oil. So how do you use neem oil? So you need to dilute neem oil in water. So with one liter of water, you can use about one cup full of neem oil. So, now, depending on the uh, extent of the infestation, you can increase the dosage. But normally, I use just one cup full. As we all know, oil does not mix well with water. So you will need another ingredient so that you would be able to mix the oil with water. This neem oil with water. So that is what we call a surfactant. And for this, we will use um, castile soap. Well, actually, you can use any dishwashing liquid soap or maybe a mild soap. But then, um, if you prefer to use organic ingredients only and um, sometimes the, the dishwashing liquid that we have now is very strong and they might destroy your plant so I would suggest that you use only mild or organic uh, chemicals and uh, castile soap is one of my most recommended surfactant when, the, when using uh, neem oil so how do you use castile soap? Um, maybe half a cup full of castile soap and mix them well. So you will know that you have had enough of castile soap when you will when you see that the neem oil is uh, uh, already diluted in the water. So we, but if you see um, some oily parts. Uh, accumulating on top of the water, that means maybe you need a little, to add a little bit more of the castor soap. So basically, once um, the neem oil is already diluted in this um, water, you can now use this to spray your plant. So when do you spray or when when is the timing for uh, applying neem oil? I suggest that you do it either early in the morning, very early in the morning before the sun rises or late at night. Do not spray during the day or when the sun is already up because this might cause burning of the leaves of your plants. So just a word of caution. If you are growing sensitive plants, for example cactus and succulents, or maybe plants that are very sensitive to certain types of chemicals, Maybe you can test this on a few leaves of your plants to make sure that it doesn't burn. And uh, once you've tested it, wait for a few minutes and see the effect on your plants. Because some, some plants are quite sensitive and they might not react very well to any type of oil-based substances. So that's it for the use of neem oil. For other ways to control pests, you can also use lactopesticide or the plant shampoo. 
The plum shampoo works in two ways. First, it contains neem, so the effect of neem, as I've explained to you earlier, and also because it contains other ingredients, uh, organic and natural ingredients, such as madre de cacao and other herbs that were known to control and uh, eradicate pests. Now, the, another option is through diatomaceous earth. Just a caution, when buying or using DE for your plants, use food grade quality. There are two types of diatomaceous earth. One is the food grade quality, which you can use when uh, applying to your, on your plants. And the other one is the industrial type, which is usually used for industrial purposes. And that industrial type can be harmful if you use it on your plants. So in the next few episodes, we will be demonstrating on how to use the different types of organic pesticides. Happy gardening!